It's affected hundreds of residents and changed the island forever. It's the one year anniversary of the Kilauea eruption. How have residents recovered, if at all, and what lies ahead? Joining us this morning is State Representative Joy San Bonaventura, who represents the Puna District on Hawaii Island, which was at the center of the devastation. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Aloha, thank you. Now, you're instrumental in getting $60 million in relief for that area. Can you give us an update on what's going on now? So according to the county, um, according to the law, the HB 1180 that did get passed, basically it required county council resolution to accept the money, which they did. And according to Diane Lay, the update is they're using down the funds to be able to come up with economic recovery grants, to be able to come up with some housing plans. What else are you hearing from your constituents and what else do they need? Okay, there are... There are still houses, um, beautiful houses, mm -hmm. that they can't get to. So number one in the priority list, list is getting Highway 132. And I am really happy to report that that is the county's main priority. And now that they've got some money to get some matching funds, they should be able to go full steam ahead. Pohiki Park. Um, our recreational areas were devastated. We had saltwater ponds there, that hot ponds that were used by tourists and residents to be able to recreate in. We had a boat ramp which provided over 30% of the fresh island fish on the big island and really the biggest ahi catch in the state. Now looking back at the past year and the ongoing eruption when it happened, is there one story or image that stands out? Of course, Puhonua Opuna with Ikai Kamarzo. I mean, here's this guy who was a fisherman, who was a lava tour operator, and he got, he found out how badly in need we were in Puna. And he got his friends and family together um, using Gilbert Aguinaldo's vacant land to create this hub where mm -hmm. people could donate directly to the evacuees, to, directly to the people in need, and where the people in need felt safe to be able to get things that they need. And people helping people. Any last thoughts that you'd like to share on this one-year anniversary? You know, um, people are still hurting. There are People have put in their life savings into these homes. And we, got one of the, we had one of the most beautiful resort areas in the state, Kapoho, which is now completely decimated. Um, the economic recovery is going to be long. Um, we, we request your patience. But just because it's one year from now and it's not going to be in constant news doesn't mean that people are done recovering. So um, we request your patience. And hopefully next year we'll have better news. All right, Representative Joy San Buenaventura, thank you so much for joining us this morning and sharing your stories. Okay, thank you very much. Don't go anywhere.